Hello, I'm Nancy Strickland, and this video will show you a way to create a ribbon user interface for a Windows form application. Microsoft Office 2007 introduced the ribbon control, like you see here in Microsoft Word, and users liked it so much that in Windows 7, Microsoft is adding a ribbon to other Microsoft products. Like Microsoft Paint, you might like to add a ribbon to your own WinForms application. Right now, Microsoft doesn't have an official API release for writing a WinForms ribbon in managed code. Microsoft's open source project site, CodePlex here, has a ribbon for WinForms library that you can use. Here's the download site for it. That's what I want to use in this demonstration application. It's not really hard to set up and write a simple application, but it's not particularly quick because there are quite a few little things that have to be in place, and I've only got seven minutes here. So I'm going to show you a sample application that comes along with the ribbon for WinForms library when you download it right here from CodePlex. First of all, let me show you that I've already downloaded the ribbonlib 2.0 zip file, and now I'm going to unzip it I also had to previously download and install the Windows 7 SDK, which is also required to support this ribbon library. You can see that it opened a solution file for me, along with a samples file and a ribbon file. So I'm going to open that solution file in Visual Studio and build it. If I go down here, you can see that there's a project called Ribbon, and it is set as the default startup project. So I can't run it because it's a DLL, but I can build it. It takes quite a little while to rebuild because it's rebuilding all of those projects. Now I'm going to change my startup project to project 1. And this is a, an executable project so I can run it. A very simple ribbon. And now I'm going to walk through the code with you to show you what had to be done to create this basic simple ribbon. First of all, there's a reference over here to that ribbon DLL. And then if I open form 1, you can see that I have a using for it. And then down here in the class, you can see that I'm instantiating a ribbon object, and also that I've added to Form 1 a declaration that it's going to implement iRibbonForm. Now that interface requires two things, and here they are, here are its members. I'm going to open up this collapsed section and show you one is a window handle property, and the other is a ribbon height updated. Very simple, but you do have to implement them. And then the only thing left to do in main is to initialize the ribbon framework on form load and then destroy it when the form closes. And now I'm done with the form one code. Let's look at the design. Now in the form, to keep the ribbon separate up above the, the rest of the form, a split container like this has been dragged onto this form. Now in its properties, let me right click here so that I can get its properties. There's a handful of properties here that needed to be set. I had to say first of all that the fixed panel was panel 1, this one here at the top, that the dock style is fill, that the is splitter fixed property is true, that the orientation is horizontal, and that the splitter width is 1. Okay, so that's the design part. And then you have to add to the basic project a ribbon markup XML file. Here's what it looks like. The namespace is the ribbon schema. And nothing has been put in here yet. We don't have any buttons or anything because this is just the basic setup like you saw when we ran it. Now if I look at the properties for this file over here under schemas, nothing has been set for a schema there, but I'm going to do something that's advisable. I'm going to set it to uh, this schema, UICC XSD, which is part of the Windows 7 SDK, and that's one reason we installed it. This is the schema for the ribbon markup XML file, not this schema here, but for the file itself, and that way we can get some help when we're writing it. Okay, and that's it for the XML file. Now one other thing I need is some pre-build events. 
So I'm going to go to the project itself, right click and see its properties. And then in here under build events, under pre-build events, I'm going to click edit so we can see it. That's a very tiny window there. And there's three of them actually. So this first one says take ribbon markup XML and change it to ribbon markup RC. And the next one says take ribbon markup RC and change it to ribbon markup res. And the third one says take ribbon markup res and change it to a uh, ribbon DLL for this specific application for the target that I'm building here. And that's it. I've just gone over the setup required to get to the basic ribbon. You can see that the other projects here show you how to do other things. Buttons and uh, menu drop downs and tab groups etc. So what you can do is choose one of those, make it your setup, pro uh, your startup project, run it, see what it adds to the basics here, and then look at that code, view that code to see how it was done. It is not, however, yet an official Microsoft project release. It's not officially supported. So let me tell you that there is another option for creating a ribbon in a Windows application, and that's to use a WPF application instead of WinForms. There's another video in this Windows 7 in 7 series from MS Dev that shows you how to do it that way. But for now, you have seen one way to get started with a very simple ribbon for a Windows Form application in less than seven minutes.